Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn that how we can change a quadratic expression into a complete square form. In order to change a quadratic expression like given here into a complete square form, we use the formulas of whole square which are a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square according to the given question. Here we can see that we have a question x square minus 8x minus 3. Here is a minus sign so we use the formula a minus b whole square which is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's start doing the question. In order to convert this expression which is x square minus 8x minus 3 into a complete square we will use these terms and convert them into a formula as we know that first term this can also be written as x square minus 2xy plus y square for x minus y expression this can be written as av or xy so here we start converting this by converting we know that x can be squared and result in x square which is the same use minus sign here and we know that 2 is from the formula a or x is here is x and y or b by with the help of this product we have to come up with a product which is equals to 8x so if you multiply 2 with 4 it becomes 8x as 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 4 is equals to 8x. So here we also know that b comes out as 4. So we make a square of 4 here and at the same time as we are only using this expression so we don't need this term. So we are adding this term here at the same time we also subtract this term here. So once this whole term is equal to this term because they will cancel out with each other. This is the same as 8x and this is the same as x square. Now we can written this expression into a formula. If we see that this is the breakup of a minus b or x minus y whole square formula. And here a or x is x minus sign and b is 4. So x minus 4 whole square is same as that and minus 4 into 4 is 16. So basically this is the expression which is equivalent to x square minus 8x. If we expand this we will get the same result. So we can write it in this form. Now we put this value instead of this value and we have x minus 4 whole square minus 16 minus 3 which is given in the question. Now we are going to open the bracket and we will have x minus 4 whole square minus 16 and minus 3. Now we have x minus 4 whole square minus 19 and this is our converted complete square form of the expression x square minus 8x minus 3. Now look at another question here which is x square plus 3x minus 7. As there is a positive sign between x square and 3x so we use the formula a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square in order to convert this expression into a complete square form. As we know that we use the terms only that involves a square of x and x in order to convert them into a formula. So here we have x square plus 3x as a term and we have to convert these terms into a formula. So let's start by making the first term which is x whole square. This is equals to this plus sign. Then we have 2 of a formula our a is here x and 
in order to convert this term into 3x, we can multiply this term with 3 divided by 2. As this cancel out with this and the result comes out as 3x. Now here we have b as 3 over 2. So we add this term whole square and at the same time we subtract this term in order to cancel the effect of this term. Because at the end of the day we have we need these terms. When we solve it we will have these terms with the help of these expressions. We are doing it because we want to convert them into a formula. Now here we can write these three terms as formula as they are the expansion of a plus b whole square formula. Here a is x plus sign and b is 3 over 2 whole square. So these th three terms can be written in the terms of formula and now we have minus 9 over 4 which is the square of this term. Now we can put this expression instead of x square plus 3x as this is equals to this. Now we have x plus 3 over 2 whole square minus 9 over 4 minus 7. Now we further solve it and we have x plus 3 over 2 whole square minus 4 28 4 and this is our complete square form of the given expression here we have another question 2x square plus 12x minus 5 but here we have constant with the x square which is 2 and we don't need any constant with x square. So we remove this constant by taking it as common. But we take common between these two terms only. So we take common 2 here and we have x square plus 6x minus 5. Now we have expression x square plus 6x. Similar to the expressions which we have converted into the square form by using the formula in our previous questions. So we take this expression x square plus 6x and start converting it. As we know there is a plus sign so we use a plus b whole square formula. Here a is x. x square is equivalent to that term plus 2 from the formula. a is x. And in order to have this expression, we multiply 2 with 3. So we have 2 1 to x into 3 is equals to 6x. Now here b is 3 squared. And at the same time, we subtract this term in order to cancel it up x. So we have x plus 3 whole square instead of these three terms minus 9 the square of 3 and it is equivalent to this. Now we can put this value instead of x square plus 6x and we have we know 2 is we have the expression 2 is common here we take as it is and instead of this expression we put the value which we have just find out with the help of the formula of a plus b whole square which is x plus t whole square minus 9 minus 5. Now we just simply multiply it and open the bracket. 2 x plus 3 whole square minus 18 and minus 5. We have 2 x plus 3 whole square minus 23 and this is our converted whole square form sorry complete square form 
Look at another question here. 7 minus 8x minus 4x square. Here, it is not arranged in a proper order. So first, we arrange this expression into an ordered form and write it as minus 4x minus 8x plus 7. Here, we first take minus sign as common. Now we have 4x square plus 8x minus 7. Now we need x on the x square here. So we further take common 4. And we take this common from these two terms. Now we have x square plus 2x minus 7. We only need this expression to convert it into a formula. Now we have x square plus 2x. As there is a plus sign here, so we use the a plus b whole square formula. Here the first term is x square which is equivalent to this plus 2 is from the formula. a is x here and we only need to multiply it with 1 in order to get this term. So here our b is 1 and we subtract it at the same time in order to cancel it a fact. Now we can write these three terms into a formula form which is a is x here plus b is 1 here a plus b whole square minus 1. We had the expression minus 4 bracket x square plus 2x minus 7. And now we have the equivalent form for this expression. We put it here which is x plus 1 whole square minus 1 minus 7. First we open the bra inside bracket which is 4 x plus 1 whole square minus 4 minus 7. Now we open this bracket and we have minus 4 x plus 1 whole square minus 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 plus 11. We can also write it as 11 minus 4 x plus 1 whole square. This is our completed square form. Now look at another question here. 2x square plus 5x minus 3. First of all, we take common 2 from first two terms. And we can write it as x square plus 5 over 2x minus 3. If we open the bracket, we have 2x square plus 2 cancel out with this. And we have 5x minus 3. So these th this is equivalent to the given expression. Now we have these terms and we have to convert it by using the formula a plus b whole square. Here a is x plus 2 is from the formula. a is again x and in order to get the final product as 5 over 2 we need here 5 over 4 because once these multiply with each other this 2 cancel out with this 4 and we have 5 over 2x same as here now our b comes out as 5 over 4 so we add and subtract this square with this expression now this whole expression is equivalent to this. Now we write these three terms into a formula form as a plus b is 5 over 4 whole square minus 5 5 is 25 and 16. Now we have the value for x square plus 5 over 2x. Now we simply put this value instead of this and we have 2 x plus 5 over 4 whole square 
minus 25 over 16 minus 3. Further solving, we will have 2 x plus 5 over 4 whole the square minus 25 over 16 into 2 and minus 3. This cancel out with this and we have 2 x plus 5 over 4 whole the square minus 25 over 8 minus 3. In order to solve this, we take LCM and we have 8 into 3 is yes, 24. Forty nine over eight, and this is our answer. Or you can say that a complete square form of the given expression. Thank you for watching. We will solve further question in our upcoming videos.